So welcome to my nitrogen cycle video. We're going to be covering all the stages of the nitrogen cycle using a nice big diagram with a bit of exam question help at the end. Lightning bit of context. It is kind of ironic that 78% of our atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas and yet no animal, plant or fungus can access that nitrogen to use it to make proteins and nucleic acids. We are all dependent on bacteria to get it into every food chain on the planet. So let's see how that happens. So here we have nitrogen in the air and here is my soil line. Here is my leguminous plant, which is peas or beans with roots which have root nodules on them, which contain those mutualistic nitrogen fixing bacteria. And clearly those little dots in the soil are obviously the free living nitrogen fixing bacteria. Here is my flower, which represents every plant on the planet, every producer. And here is my sheep that represents every primary consumer. Very sadly, all living organisms die. So here is my dead sheep and my dead plants. And together with the waste, the feces and the urine, which contain nitrogen that come from all animals. I can't draw any other animals, so these purple arrows represent every other food chain on the planet. So what happens? Well, first of all, nitrogen fixation occurs to turn the nitrogen in the air into ammonium ions. Notice that the black is the process nitrogen fixing and the red shows which bacteria are doing that process. So we have mutualistic nitrogen fixing bacteria and free living nitrogen fixing bacteria producing ammonium ions. These ammonium ions undergo nitrification to produce nitrites and nitrates. Notice that nitrification makes nitrates. And not surprisingly, that process occurs as a result of nitrifying bacteria. Here's the crucially important bit, the absorption of nitrate ions by plants. This absorption is how nitrates get into producers so that they can make proteins, DNA, RNA, ATP. Remember that ATP is a derivative of an RNA nucleotide and all other nitrogen containing compounds. This is how nitrogen enters every food chain on the planet. And as a result of this absorption, it is then available for primary consumers to eat. In other words, it enters the animal part of the food chain. And as a result of feeding, digestion and absorption, that is how all primary consumers get their nitrogen compounds from the plants. That is then passed up the rest of the food chain, but very sadly, death occurs to all organisms on the planet. And as a result of decay of both waste and dead plants and animals, ammonification of the nitrogen containing compounds in those bodies and in the waste by saprobionts occurs, turning those nitrogen compounds back into ammonium. Finally, denitrification can occur, which turns nitrates back into nitrogen gas in the air. And that happens as a result of denitrifying bacteria. So now what I want to do is emphasize a really important circle within a cycle, which is the production of ammonium ions, the fact that they're turned into nitrates, into every food chain on the planet. And when 
death of organisms occurs, the decay of those organisms means that ammonification takes place to replace those ammonia mines in the soil. It's a biologically key cycle. Notice also that if I replaced my flower with crop plants, so a wheat field, maize, rice, for example, that means that ammonification can't happen because the act of harvesting removes those plants from the area of the soil where they have grown and therefore death and ammonification doesn't happen in the area of the soil where nitrates are taken from it. And as a result, nitrate fertilizers need to be used and that can result in eutrophication. Denitrification only occurs where flooding or lack of aeration occurs in the soil and that's because denitrifying bacteria are anaerobic and denitrification reduces the amount of nitrate in the soil. Reducing the amount of nitrate in the soil is agriculturally really important because it means that plants can't grow. Quick reminder that nitrogen is used to make proteins, it's used to make nucleic acids, it's used to make ATP, that modified RNA nucleotide, and it's also used to make coenzymes NAD and NADPH. On to exam questions. Describe how the action of microorganisms in the soil, I should have underlined that, produces nitrates. So here am I remembering all the way that nitrates are made by bacteria in the soil. So here's my quick little summary of the previous diagram and this fits in with the mark scheme. So proteins are made into ammonium compounds by saprobionts. That ammonium is turned into nitrites and nitrates by denitrifying bacteria and nitrogen in the atmosphere is turned into ammonium ions as a result of nitrogen fixing bacteria in the soil. Notice that they give you the benefit of the doubt if you don't talk about root nodules, you don't get that mark taken away from you. So here we go, leguminous plants. We know what those are now. How do they grow better in soils with a low nitrate content? And that's because they're able to fix nitrogen into ammonium ions and then the plant can use those ammonium ions to produce protein or DNA or RNA. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Biology Carol. If it has been useful, please do like, please subscribe, please share, and if you have a comment, leave it below.